To be like Jesus, the Sabbath memorializes a literal day. God thundereth marvelously with his voice, great things that he which we cannot comprehend. Job 37 and verse 5. When God spoke his law with an audible voice from Sinai, he introduced the Sabbath by saying, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. He then declares definitely what shall be done on the six days and what shall not be done on the seventh. He never gives the reason for thus observing the week by pointing us back to his example for the first seven days of time. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it, this reason appears beautiful and forcible when we understand the record of creation to mean literal days. The first six days of each week are given to us in which to labor because God employed the same period of the first week in the work of creation. The seventh day God has reserved as a day of rest in commemoration of his rest during the same period of time after he had performed the work of creation in six days. But the infidel supposition that the events of the first week require seven vast indefinite periods for their accomplishment strikes directly at the foundation of the Sabbath of the fourth commandment. It makes indefinite and obscure that which God had made very plain. It is the worst kind of infidelity. For with many who profess to believe the record of creation, it is infidelity in disguise. It charges God with commanding us to observe the week of seven literal days in commemoration of seven indefinite periods, which is unlike his dealing with us, and is an impeachment of his wisdom. The word of God is given as a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Those who cast his word behind them and seek by their own blind philosophy to penetrate the mysteries of Jehovah will stumble in darkness. A guide has been given to mortals whereby they may trace his works as far as will be for their good. Inspiration in giving us the history of the flood has explained wonderful mysteries that Geology alone could never fathom. To be like Jesus, May 22nd. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Thank you all for listening, and please join us once again tomorrow for your daily devotional reading. God bless.